welcome good afternoon everyone good evening welcome to our pop-up live video during which i'd like to talk to you about perception perception and we can read cards as well perception um this video is inspired by the session i had today with my client in the morning where the client was sharing uh, the little mini story from his life that just happened a couple days ago and 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 as this client is describing to me that little story that was in between him and little girl he is just you know saying 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 the things um and describing to me how he took that story right how he felt what he felt what appeared to him how he reacted there are there and as i am listening to him and i'm hearing him out hearing him out i just cannot imagine that what he just described to me i haven't taken that same way i seen totally different or at least i imagine totally different scenario and and i even address that and have you thought about that this situation could have been seen that way and of course you know the client was like huh and then we moved on with the session and it doesn't really matter what happened later on in the session but what dawned on me is it really didn't dawn on me actually uh, it was just reinforcing what i see and observe and i'm sure you've seen and observed that as well in your life how the same event the same situation can be seen by different people differently yet we still think when we go out there or we are sometimes even frustrated why people don't think or don't see things the same way as i do and we shouldn't be asking actually why because there's no answer to that or if there is an answer the answer is simple because they can because they can the longer answer is we all see uh, see things differently because perception this how we perceive something what is happening is filtered based is combined by many different bases or databases let's say so so our senses respond to the sensual situation right our brain read that senses but then we also have different experiences we also have different values priorities different patterns patterns wired in our brain then we all respond because of all these things through different emotional and sensational reactions all of this combined together gives us particular perception and there is no single person on this planet that has been through the same life experiences and experienced them the same way as the other person. Even siblings experience the same trauma happening in the house differently. They react to it differently. They go into their lives with different experiences and they act on them in different way. So obviously, they will have, as every one of us, different perception of the particular event, situation, interaction, relationship. Why am I talking about all this? Speaking honestly, what, what's going on, Isabella? We all know that. Correct. We all know that. Maybe we didn't. Maybe it's important to reinforce that and remind that. Because we can really cause a lot of hurt to others and ourselves by assuming that everyone thinks and does things the same way by expecting other people to think and do things the same way as we do and by settling 
in that little little hole with the question why because they can because they can because they do because they chose to because this how because maybe that's the only way they could do they could react to it because that's the only way they know how to especially when it comes to situations when someone does something in a way that you would never do like a mean way bad way hurtful way it's like wh why would they do that have you thought about this that maybe that's the only way they know to react and maybe that's the only way uh, they were learned and taught uh, they learned and they ta they were taught it's like the saying that if you are having hard time giving yourself forgiveness, compassion, love, understanding, tolerance, self-care, it most likely will reflect that in other interactions and relationships. And in most like, uh, likely cases, that may not be even conscious. You might be just doing this unconsciously because that's familiar to you. That's familiar to you. So questioning why, it's kind of, I found it kind of very depressive, not very depressive, some kind of depressive, some kind of like keeping me in the position where I am like imprisoned and unable to move, unable to act. Instead of being, okay, this person reacted that way. If you really care for that person, you will talk to that person. You will say, I understand. I, I try to under, understand at least how you reacted. Do you want to share with me what triggered you so much? Because that situation didn't trigger me. I'm really curious, right? Or can I help you in this situation since that was so emotional to you? But without, of course, judgment in a way, for example, oh my gosh, I never would have reacted to this way. What's wrong with you? Okay, don't. <laughs> sometimes better just don't say anything and just move on but settling for just simple wise may also be very freezing for for you um and those assumptions they are very hurtful as i said to those around you and yourself first of all to those around you because you are not opening yourself to understand them to get to know them get to know their reasoning get to know their life story get to know their life experiences but on the other side, you are also not doing the same thing for yourself. You are assuming that that's the only path. This is how everyone should walk, right? But even if you go to the forest, there are plenty of another paths. Plenty. And the fact that your neighbor will take the left path and you will go straight and another person will take the right path. And then suddenly you will find all of yourself in different spots it's wonderful it's amazing because we do differ we are unique we are similar but we are also different in many many aspects and instead of judgment instead of assumptions instead of maybe that why what's going on why are you not doing the same way as i do things open your mind and like hey i'm curious why did you choose that path huh i'm curious what is there that attracted you that or that triggered you or uh, that brought your attention to right being open so with all this talk i really invite you to open up be observant be curious be yeah, be on the lookout to see how perceptions, different perceptions are happening around you, how people react to the same situations at workplace, at home, at the family gathering. Uh, for me, what's really amazing is how sharing with some of my sisters about the same traumatic experiences, situation, literally envisioning that situation. We literally knew what we are talking about. We both remember that this happened. Yet both of our experience, both of our um, reactions to it and what we carried and out of that experience later on in our adult lives has been totally different. And it just dawned on me. I'm like, you remember this? This is what triggered you? This is what made you sad? For me, that was the part. So, right? And it is like one minute event. 
the same thing happened to me during the session today seeing this seeing this very clearly how the same story created different reactions of two people listening to that story right that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's very interesting. As a coach, as a therapist, as a uh, healer, consultant, I find this amazing. I find this more and more magnificent. Just seeing how we are all different, how we are all um, complex, complex, yet very um, whole, like complex we have different pieces of us but at the same time we are whole with all those pieces together held by some higher power by our heart by the love by whatever you believe in so i think that would be it about my perception if there are any questions let me know however i would like to read a card for all of you from this very nice cute cool uh, Kardec, excuses to celebrate. Why not? Excuses to celebrate. It's a really cool Kardec that gives some ideas how to celebrate yourself, how to celebrate the day, how to be grateful, what to do as a part of self-care, and so on. And I have this, and it's cool because the cards are different colors in the back. I mean, there are primary colors, like not all of them are different, but you see there are just, I think, for groups of colors and that pink one or beige one caught my eye so i have it identify something you're afraid of then do it anyway leaving your house qualifies <laughs> if this card is made by people with mental health awareness in mind with inclusivity so you see for some of us getting out of the house introverts people who struggle with anxiety and anyways maybe because of weather um maybe very very hard to do at some point or at some times so leaving your house qualifies into that self-care practice so identify something you're afraid of then do it anyway um, I would add with being mindful of your safety, of your emotional state. If something that you are afraid of doing, but then doing it anyway would cause you to be, um, to, would cause you to feel unsafe, to get yourself in unsafe situation or position. No, don't do it. We are not talking about that type of things. Okay. Um, the same, if leaving house would cause you freeze to death, <laughs> talking from my own perspective here in Wyoming, then don't, <laughs> then don't. Alrighty, beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, for being here. I could see a couple or few people, maybe they are changing, being present here. For those of you who will receive a replay, I'm, I'm really curious what you think about this is what we talked today about perception. How does that resonate with you? Do you, did you, or have you had any experiences with, yeah, with seeing how that acts out in your life, how those different perceptions um, are happening? How you, how do you witness those? How do you feel around those? Do you feel uncomfortable? Are you settling for that <gasps> victim game? kind of why or maybe you are interested in it and analyzing and reflecting on it like me um yeah anything goes anything goes uh, but then in the meantime i will finish my monologue and i will wish you i want to wish you all the best all the best for your day evening week month and I will see you in the next pop-up live video, most likely next week, somehow. I don't know when day, which day, uh, because my days are recently not really scheduled yet properly. So it's kind of all over the place. I'm trying to fit in a lot of things. Everything will work out. I love you. I'm sending you lots of hugs. Mm. Hug yourself. And talk to you to talk to you in the next few days. Love you. Bye.